I don't think there's anything worse in the world than having something wrong with your kid. It's just, it, it's just been so hard and it's been such a roller coaster. And now having him do so well and doing stem cells, it's, uh, there's nothing better in the world than having your kid do well. My name is Angie Flynn and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, originally Australia, and I have a little boy who is eight who has autism. His name is Dylan Flynn. Dylan was diagnosed when he was about two and a half. I feel like there were warning signs from one onwards. He kind of had some words and then he just lost them and he stopped talking and he began to bang his head against the wall and just went into his own world and uh, we were getting more and more worried and more and more desperate. And so when he was two and a half, he was diagnosed autism with self-abusive behaviors. And uh, straight away, we were so desperate for answers. I was on every uh, autism Facebook forum trying to find out what I can do for him. Back then, uh, he never made eye contact. He never pointed as a baby. He, uh, he would never answer to his name. He was always crying, always fussy. He didn't sleep. He had terrible reflux as a baby. I mean, everything you would feed him, he would puke it up. But the main things that let us know was the lack of eye contact, the, the never pointing, he never waved bye-bye. Didn't have any kind of expressions that other kids have, that intuitive, you know, interaction with people. There was nothing. In fact, he didn't want it. He would just run the other way. It was so hard, my husband and I were struggling so much. It, it was the lowest time of my life, for sure. I didn't know what kind of future Dylan would have. And um, I would go to the grocery store at night and I'd just cry because I didn't understand. It was so unfair that it was my kid and why did it have to be my son? First heard about stem cells almost straight away when he was diagnosed. I was hearing about stem cells on these forums and some people were saying they were getting fantastic results in the autism community. The Stem Cell Institute has been around for so long, well established, safe. It's so well known. I, I wouldn't go anywhere else. I'd be scared to take my child anywhere else. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my boy. So we first came here in 2019 and I was so impressed by the whole thing, by the stem cells. It, it, it's just so professional here. It was so much easier than I thought. I was so scared that it would be invasive or traumatic for my son. Oh, the staff are amazing. They just get the vein every time. They're so good with my son. They are so caring and understanding and playful with him. I don't have to worry. Before stem cells, he was really disruptive in a classroom. Um, they really wouldn't allow him to be in there unless he had his own one-on-one -on -one ABA therapist. Uh, and it was hard to find schools that would allow that. Uh, and after stem cells, he's in a normal school, in a normal classroom, he's doing great, he's on the honours roll. I mean, I just pinch myself because he's doing so good. To anybody considering doing stem cells, uh, just do it. I'm so glad we did. I, I wish I had done it sooner. Dylan is so creative and so happy. He's such a happy boy now. I'm just, I'm so thankful that it's changed his life. 